What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Living Life of Abundance. Let's get straight into it. Excuse me? You're beautiful. I need your number. No, no, her. Excuse me. I need your number. You hit her with the good old switcheroo. Shots fired! <laughs> You're beautiful. Me? Yeah, you. Can I get your number? <laughs> Can we go on a date sometime? Sure. That first girl... Wow, that was easy. She got that humble pie <laughs> real quick. She was like... She wanted it, too. Look at her. She's like, yeah, talk to me. Talk to me. That's hilarious, bro. He ate her up. <laughs> For chat. Get off me. Get off me. I'm serious. I didn't do anything. This is the first time this has happened? Yeah. Hey, you're safe now. Call me Red Chad, has your girl ever farted in front of you? I'll be honest, the first time I heard Cass fart, I was like, wait, you do that? I didn't even know you did that. I, you are, and you're not. Big back, big back. I know better, you're fat too. Baby, <laughs> look, there's a difference. You're shaped funny, I'm voluptuous, I have things in the right place. Chad, let me know, is she voluptuous? <laughs> I'm keeping a buck, it's not giving voluptuous. The difference between you and I. You're not voluptuous, you're just fat. Okay. Whoa. That's like a double cheeseburger <laughs> telling. <laughs> the body shaming is so good. I absolutely love it. Two big backs going at it. Two big backs in the wild going at it, boy. You usually don't see the big backs going after the big backs, but it happens. My boy about to have two tons of fun. They done went and bought snacks. You can see the bag in her hand. He got the rolling paper in his pocket. He about to put 15 in gas, and they about to take off. Oh, boy. Watch The watch big it. back bonanza. Watch it now. Watch the car now. Watch the car now. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's about to be mattress right the there. The chassis of that car's like, please, just please. <laughs> how the bed frame about to catch hell. You see how the car went down? Lord, I just want to pray for that bread frame, because it's about to go through hell. Also, I want to pray for the neighbors, because when they get done, it's going to be all kinds of snoring. Bro, I'm I hope talking he doesn't about have all a, what is it, a, a, a beam house? Because if he's got a beam house, boy, he's going to have his whole foundation going to be messed up. <laughs> I hope he got a concrete foundation. Sleep apnea. <laughs> and listen, whoo, my boy, hey, he got two of them. Not one, but two of them. It's about to be a big back bonanza in that house. <laughs> and look, big listen, back, big don't back. judge. Because I've been bonanza. there too. I don't have me a ton of fun. <laughs> I mean, I made up the big back Betty, but big back bonanza is good. Trust me. Who ain't that like? Lord. Better swallow. Swallow all day. So does the, does the guy's diet matter? It's better I swallow. We appreciate you, ladies. I mean, I can't really tell a difference because it's normally like down here before I could even taste it. So. They're Asian. I love it when a woman tells her bop lore. I just love it. <laughs> I love it when they openly admit their bop lore. So, <laughs> I just absolutely love it. It's the best. You don't even have to ask. You don't even have to tell them to do it. They just do it on their own. It's great. Sure. I got one. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? This dick. <laughs> <laughs> I jacked off to you too, so many times, Thank like a million times, <laughs> like I jacked off to you a million times. Can I get your number? Yeah, get my Instagram, get my Instagram. Real shit. This guy is the final boss of- Oh my god, bro, this is why we gotta end this epidemic. That's absolutely dreadful that he would even admit that. God, that's horrible. If you ask this young lady, is she intelligent? She'd look you dead in your eyes and say yes. If you ask her, does she have manners? She'd say yes. But she's been interrupting and she's been rude and unruly this whole time, which is why I have to address it. Because too often, guys will look at her and say, you know, she's attractive. I want to smash. And because they want to smash, they're about to start tap dancing and like being real nice. And because they've never told her the truth, she doesn't even know the truth. Recently, a young I was in uh, Mallorca in, in Spain, right? I met this gorgeous Romanian chick and she says, hey, how old do you think I look? I'm over here with my video editor. You heard me? I'm, I got her on. She texted me on IG. She said, how old do you look? think I look? And I, I was like, Dude, bro, how old do you think shorty look? He's like, bro, she looked like she at least this age. I was like, yeah, I agree. And he's like, what you going to say? And I was like, not that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. You get lied to, then you get smashed and dashed. And at the end, you're wondering why. Because you have no sense of reality. And why does the lie work on you? Because you want to be lied to.
That is Ooh, the... Ooh, smushed and pushed. Saying the center, always keeping it a buck, though. I like saying the center. He's good. He's so good. That's why, that's why men lie and women uh, wear makeup. Like, it, the lies work on y'all. That's why we lie. Because it works. Like I've, like I've said in previous episodes, the tactics that I used in the market when I was dating, I only did things that actually got results. I didn't care if it was moral or ethical. You think I liked being mean to women? I mean, sometimes it was funny. <laughs> sometimes it was funny, but for the most part, I didn't like being mean to people, but being mean worked. Hoes. I just want a man who's tall and strong and smart and interesting and funny, and he only wants to talk to me, and he never cheats on me, he doesn't want any girl but me, he buys me everything I want. That's what a real man is, and he doesn't do everything I want all the time. He's not a real man. He should sit at home and do everything I want, but he should have loads of money and also be spontaneous, and he doesn't have to ever work, but he always has loads of money, and he always focuses on me because I'm the most important thing in the world, even though I've achieved nothing. Uh, I have hair extensions to fake tits. Uh, shut the fuck up. I mean, he's preaching, though. Well, the thing is, you ladies got all this plastic surgery, and y'all keep it. Y'all are so fake, but y'all want us to keep it real? Shots fired! Come on, dude. Stop it. What in the... What is going on with this clip? When she takes you back to her place, but you ignore all the red flags? All right, let's see. She already looks sweaty, and I'm, I'm confused at this, uh, this back that looks like it's never mixed a, missed a breakfast in a few years. Let's see here. What is going on? got a thicker back than I do. Where are we going? What is it? Is this an abandoned house? I better not see a mattress. It's a nice place. The horniness will bring men to places they wouldn't <laughs> even... <laughs> For real. I bet, I bet there's a bunch of men that would actually follow this girl to the depths of Discovery Kingdom at Six Flags to see what the what the H-E double hockey sticks is going on. So maybe he can get a, a whiff of a crack to maybe clap some cheeks. That's why we have to end the simp epidemic, dude. Oh my God. That's clapping like it's proud of me. Stop it. These BBLs are killing these women. Ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10 and you cannot pick seven. I would say an eight, nine. Uh, maybe six. An eight. Girl, you look like you on Hotel Transylvania. Shots fired! Maybe six. Eight. Eight on a good day, usually six. You know my answer. Two outside, eight on the inside. Uh, I give myself a five, Andrew. Who said they were a nine? <laughs> no, okay, well then I'm a ten. That wasn't funny. No, it, it, is, it is funny. <laughs> who said they were a nine? <laughs> Are you the person who rates yourself the highest at the table? Who rates myself the highest at the she table? Did, she yes. Is. So then I want you to just acknowledge that you think you're the prettiest girl at the table. Yeah, sorry. To the gal who's next to you, who's sitting next to you right now, mm -hmm. is she the prettiest girl at the table? I will not say is that she, she is the no, single prettiest girl at the table. Ooh. Who's the first prettiest girl? <laughs> the single prettiest girl. Who's the prettiest girl? I say. I honestly say you. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Truly. You're making me shy. We're both Stop. just saying. You're so that. sweet. Thank you. <laughs> so then she's it's usually the girl that aren't the prettiest that always rate themselves the highest it's like growing up do you guys remember the girls that used to wear the perfect 10 shorts <laughs> the perfect 10 on the on the cheekage the chucky cheekage you know what they should come up with a restaurant instead of chucky e. cheeses it's chucky e. cheekage and it's like uh it's like hooters and you have all the games and stuff but it's just girls in like boy shorts but called chucky e. cheekage <laughs> that's besides the point but it's always the girls that aren't the baddest, that give themselves the highest rank. Like that one girl said, I'm a two on the outside, but an eight on the inside. A lot of these big girls think, and a lot of these girls that are beat at best, think that they're tens on the inside and out. Ladies, you gotta realize, but when we're rating you, we're rating what a man would see you as, not what you feel about yourself. Let's know right now. Chat, I want you guys to rate me. I want you guys to rate me real quick. I know we've done this in previous episodes, but I always like to do it to keep it fresh. I give myself a six on my best of days. I'm 6'2", 185. I'm kind of muscular, not really. No girls looking at me being like, oh my God, he's chiseled from stone. I'm, I'm okay. My personality's got me much further than my looks have, I'll tell you that. Isn't that right, Lokes? Lokes, do you want a carrot? You want a carrot? Do you want one? Free. Well, come here, sit. Wait. Free. Free. Go to your place. Man, he's tired. I'm telling you, when the, when the weather gets a little bit cooler, this man be getting so tired on me. He's a 10? I mean, she must be a 10. Otherwise, she can't be prettier than the 9, unless you think that the gal next to you is not a 9. You're setting me up for failure. Is it just me, or the ones who rated themselves a 6 were so much prettier? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The girls that usually rate themselves a little bit more modestly are actually, most of the time, 
more attractive. They're more real. Like Cass, I think she's beautiful. But she gives herself like a five or a six like on Girl her best days. Girl is like a 10 out of 10 smoke show. Uh-huh. But you have no chemistry. The question is a great one. And the answer is, how old are you <laughs> when this happens? <laughs> I mean, he got a point. He got a point. Because if you're a young guy, bro, you will take any fine piece of piece of looking. You know what I mean? Just because you you'll be any girl's hero at that point. I can be your hero, baby. You really will. <laughs> because <laughs> at 21, I'd be like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, facts. <laughs> I'm gonna take this 10 out of 10 all over the world until the fucking brakes fall off. Yeah, you know, yeah. just don't care. At my 44-year-old ass right now, I'd be like, there is not a chance in hell. I don't care. Because it's, it's not enough. Yeah, I've lived too much mm-hmm. and yeah. know too much to know that as gorgeous and perfect as she might be, I, it's not worth it. You being super... Bro, just remember, no matter how hot a girl is, there's some dude out there that's fed up of her crap. There's some dude out there. Even Tom Brady with Giselle. She was bad back in her day, but I promise you, she gave that man a headache. I promise you, every girl that's hot is giving some man a headache. For hot is not enough. Right. It's, it's not. not enough. It's, it's not, not enough for a relationship. Sure, like, I'll split your ham for a night, but I'm not going <laughs> to... Beat the cheekage. I am not going to embark on a journey with you. Hotness Not one lie was told. I mean, Tom Segura's right, though. Like, if you're bad when you're young, we'll entertain it. Golden. What, what is that? What, what are we doing here? What is it? What is this? What is something that you never told your ex? That I cheated on him more than once. When I really, I told him I cheated on him once. She's a runner. She's a track star. Unreal. Once I actually cheated on him like ten times. Same guy or different guy? Same guy. <laughs> we were together for five years. <laughs> Y'all were together for five years. Five years. Why you decided to cheat on him? Because we were together for five years. What the f- you mean? Uh, You're gonna have the same f- for that long? Like that's crazy. Error 404. Oh De- my god, you're gonna have the same pen for that long. That's unreal. That's unreal, bro. With the same guy for five years, gave him five years of her and life. To me, is somebody who's never going to embarrass or humiliate you and somebody you'd be very proud to show off. So yes. if a woman swears a lot, talks in a very bad manner, dresses a bit too revealing, mm-hmm. that's the kind of thing that will make you think, okay, this woman's all right, I like her, I'll keep her at home, but I'm not gonna introduce her to my friends. So elegance is certainly something that women should strive for, and men as well. Perfect. I completely what agree. Husband caught his wife cheating of two years of marriage when he uh, comes back after a business trip with her best friend. Oh, Lord have mercy. Chanel, what the hell are you doing? Steven, Who the f is this guy? I can explain. So you're telling I me can you've explain been this. For two years and I just proposed. Honey, he's just a friend, I promise. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! <laughs> I added that one for y'all. And now you want to cheat on me with this guy? Steven, I can explain. I can are explain. you kidding me? I'm you can explain. Busting my ass. On a business trip to pay for the house, the food, the bills, and you're, you you basically live here for free, and you want to cheat on me. No, it's not like you, that. You know what? No, bro. It's that's not, not going to happen. Hey, listen. You you need to get the out of my house, bro. Right, no, Get Steven. the out of my house. Steven, no, 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 can you imagine, dude, getting home, seeing your wife getting her cheeks clapped by another man, and she has the audacity to gaslight you? Good lord. You are, no, because no, you, get you the camera out of my right now. Get the camera. Thank God. I'm glad he got it on camera, because if, if he wouldn't have got it on camera, nobody probably would have believed him. That's the sad thing. I feel bad for guys like that, man. He pooped his pants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is why I always say women are children. She she was really out here trying to embarrass her kid when you should be trying to protect your child, not embarrass him. But he's the one that got the, the got the trump card on her, though. When I left Iraq, the female told the dude that I died in combat. What? So when I came back, he was in my house. What'd what you do to him? He was on my side. He was like, what the fuck? And then from there, we put her out together. You put her out together with him? Yeah, he helped me to kick all her shit out. We went to the bar, had a drink, because he lost the brother in combat, actually. From there, we ended up being close friends. 
Lion of I mean, that's I feel bad for these guys, man, because they're out there fighting the good fight. Shout out to anybody that's a, a service member. Or you've been in the military like appreciate your service. I don't, don't know if I've ever said that, but I want to make sure I say that because these people are doing the things that a lot of us wouldn't want to do. A lot of us don't want to give up four to six years of our life or even more to go out there and serve a greater purpose. So I appreciate you guys. Show respect to your wife. Yeah. Oh, all sorts of ways. I basically give her whatever the hell she wants. I adore her. But here's the thing. The reason that I do this is because if I say this is what ultimately is going to happen, that's the last word in it. And I don't even want to have the conversation we don't now she may really want to and i can tell sometimes that she really does but i don't fucking care because it's my decision ultimately so you don't care about how she feels i don't know i didn't say i didn't care how she feels i just don't care to have her question my authority autonomy over the marriage was that. there an initial conversation prior to that or is it just like we're doing this don't ask depends me on it. the context i sometimes. would say more for like bigger decisions in life not necessarily like little things even larger decisions if ultimately let's say i went home and i said we're moving to nevada in three weeks get your bags packed and i'm not going to have a I don't want to hear a word about it. Oh. You're doing it, and that's the way it's going. And you think that's respectful? W. I think that ultimately it's my choice. Okay, and but how do she you shows think that's me respectful? respect. Yeah, that's how she shows me respect. respect. He's married. I mean, to I, I agree a lot with this take because here's the thing as a man, you need to lead your household, you need to lead. And there's some decisions that are made for the family that don't need to be questioned. Cass is the same way. She might not like it all the time. Like, she might not like that I need to do YouTube and I like that I need to take calls and do interviews and work late, but you can bet darn sure she likes the money. <laughs> so it's like, if I'm going to pay for everything and provide, then there's certain things where there's a line in the sand where I'm going to do what I need to do. Um, and it's not a disrespectful thing in any way. It's not a disrespectful thing. It's just like, as the man of the house, there's certain decisions that you have to make, and sometimes these decisions are hard. This is why I say, if you want to Priority. be in a relationship, you have to be the one that's the epitome of everything that you want as far as the emotional side of the, the, the relationship. So you want your girl to be resilient. You have to be more resilient. You want her to be confident. You have to be the most confident. You have to lead, because if you don't lead, nobody can follow. Prioritize your career over your girl. I said it. In your 20s, you need to spend it, more yeah. of your time and more of your focus on I yourself and on your career and be a little bit selfish. Give her less time if you have to. Put yes. the business, put your work, put your career, put your finances first because yes. that is what's going to allow you to take care of the well, girl to the extent that you want to in the future. I don't disagree. You don't disagree? But if you have the right girl, she'll help you to achieve. As she sits in this man's Lambo talking about, if you have the right girl, <laughs> she can really help you. What did you do besides look cute to get with this guy? Her dreams and she'll help you to get to your career. She's supposed to make the best out of you, not put you down, not hold you back. If someone will really love you, she'll want the best for you. And if she see you in the statement of like grinding, she'll help you, you listening. Grind. And gentlemen, now I'm taking by her accent. He didn't find her here in the United States, so there's probably a reason he got with her. She seems like she may be a little entitled. I do agree to her point a little bit, though. There are certain things that a woman can do for a man to help him stay focused, make sure he's satiated sexually, make sure that when he gets home, it's peace and not you're not a piece of the problem. There are things that a woman can bring to the table that makes a man a better man. Cass has helped me in that regard. Coming home and not having to worry about anything when it comes to taking care of the house. I don't have to cook. I don't have to clean. I don't have to do laundry. I don't have, like a lot of these things that a lot of people would have to do if you're single. I don't have to do those things. And here's another thing, dude. I see a lot of people getting mad that are in relationships talking about like, well, I do this and then she does that. And well, I, I, I picked this up and she didn't take this out. And bubbly. It's, it's, I call it tit for tatting, nickel and diming each other. Don't complain about doing something if you would have to do it alone. Don't complain about doing something in a relationship that you would have to do if you were alone. So like taking out the trash or putting up the, like sometimes I may unload groceries or sometimes I may put the dishes up or sometimes I may, you know, help with laundry. I don't have to do it a lot, but the thing is if I was alone, I'd have to be doing all of it. So the fact that I have someone here to at least do most of it, I'm very, very thankful. And I feel like gratitude's the biggest thing for that in those re in like relationships. A lot of people seem to be grateful. Like you got another person that's willing to put up half of the effort. Whereas most women are just like, it's a hundred percent or nothing. Stupid. Turn off if a guy would call off work for me. <gasps> like if a guy would call in sick to see me, Ooh, I would no. be turned off. Never well, that. that is the biggest red flag there ever was. It's, it's happened to me. Chat, is that the biggest red flag there ever was? <laughs> I don't think that's the biggest red flag. Maybe one of them. And the beginning of all my relationships. For me, what it tells me is like, you don't prioritize your work and you're willing to like cancel other things in your life 
to see me, which makes me feel like your priorities are a little bit off. Like I like when somebody She's balances. She's basically saying that she wants to be last on the priority list. Let's see where she goes with this. Is the same energy that I have, and I will never take off work for a guy. Yeah. Like, okay, we're going on a trip, whatever. We're going to do this certain specific thing, no problem. Yeah. But am I gonna call in sick because I want to what? Cuddle in bed? I'm not gonna do that. No, no, no. And like that's something that's really like a core value. As much as I want to do it and whatever, it's not about wanting to do it. It's about like. I will always keep my like priorities in line. And I think that's why a lot of girls are attracted to like successful men too. It's because they find it so hot that they're successful. But the reason they're successful is because they didn't just cancel work. Yeah. Now my cheeks. Well, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, man. Ladies, if you want a lot of a guy's time, don't expect him to make a lot of money. If you want him to make a lot of money, don't expect to get a lot of his time. And I feel like a lot of modern women seem to forget that these days. You want a man to be successful? You want him to be independent? You want him to be, you know, masculine, confident? A lot of that stuff is done at home or alone or at work. Like, you don't really do all that stuff when you're out and about or skipping work. You have to be working. First name, Cheek. Last name, Slayer. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I was fired from a TV show because I do a kissing sick scene and I told them up front there is this is something I'm not comfortable doing and I really just don't want to do it and they said you have to do it or we're going to fire you well I'm not going to do it so they fired me and because of that I lost my big beautiful house in Los Angeles my shiny Mercedes all my stuff and my swagger and as you can imagine at the time I was really crushed they thought that was some religious zealot, but to me it was just that I don't I didn't think it was the right thing to do. And also, I really love my wife. And and I've said and I'll say it a million times, these lips are meant for one woman. He is not winning. He I mean that I agree with that take to a certain extent, but dude, you're an actor, bruh. You make your money acting. I think it's pretty commonly accepted. Let me know what you think, chat. Let me know what you think. If you're an actor, do you think it's okay to like kiss another woman? I think you're an actor. Now, corn is different because you're actually you're you're going through the motions of getting it getting it in. But like kissing, if it was like a simple set, uh, simple like I guess sex scene, kiss scene, or whatever, you're in the business. That's part of it. If you don't want to do that, don't be an actor. It's kind of my thing. So I feel bad for him, and I, I think he's honorable in, in a certain regard because I'm like, well, at least you did save your lips for your wife, and that's all fine and dandy. But the thing is you chose to be an actor. You chose to go play pretend. So playing pretend is your profession, and then you're going to shoot yourself in the foot. I, I don't know. I'm kind of torn between that one. Chat, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. Makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. Uh, but Loki, did you have a good time? He's such a sleepy boy today. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.